Assalamu alaikum dear students. How are you? I hope you all are fine by the grace of Almighty. I'm also fine. Welcome to NIVS Home School. Here I'm Kamur Rahar, Assistant Teacher of National ITL English Version School, Day Shift. And my dear students of Class 5. Today I'm going to take your Bangladesh and Global Studies class. And our today's topic is fill in the blanks and matching. Let's start the class today. So dear students, there are some fill in the blanks. Today we will do it. And the first one is we will walk, walk on the dash and not in the middle of the road. So where will you walk? Yes, you are correct. We will walk on the pavement of the road. And we will not walk in the middle of the road. Now number two, to vote is a dash of a citizen. So what is it? To vote? Yes, it is a duty of a citizen now number three we should not open the door to dash and we will not open the door to who to strangers so we should not open the door to strangers now number four we will keep dash eight box at home so which box we will keep at our home yes the first eight box now number five we should dash anyone in need so what will we do anyone in need yes of course we will help anyone in need that means this answer will be help so we should help anyone in need now number six to pay dash regularly is a duty of a citizen so what will we pay as a citizen yes we will pay taxes to run the estate smoothly so it is our duty now number seven use the dash to cross the road so what will we use to cross the road we will use the bridge to cross the road and if there's no bridge we will use the zebra crossing to cross the road now number eight at home we will take decision by dash to each other so what will we do at home to take the decision yes we will listen right to each other then we will take the decision so it will be at home we will take decision by listening to each other now number nine democracy means dash by the people so what is democracy means we all know that democracy means rule by the people now number ten we must be dashed to other people's views. So what we, uh, what we need to, uh, to uh, I mean, what we, uh, what we need to do to other people's views, or what will, I mean, uh, what quality should we have to other people's view, uh, to the other uh, other people's view? Yes, we must be patient or tolerant. So we can write here, we must be tolerant, tolerant to other people's view. Now number eleven. We will practice dash attitude everywhere. So what will we practice everywhere? And you all know that we will practice democratic attitude. Now number 12. Taking decision based on the opinion of the majority is called democratic dash. So what it is called, what is the definition of it? Yes, taking decision based on the opinion of the majority of people is called democratic attitude. So we will write here attitude. Now number 13. We must defend that. So what, will, what we must defend? Yes, we must defend democracy. Number 14. The Kashi consider dash very sacred. So we know that Kashi consider metal leaves very sacred. And they also entertain their guests with battle leaves. Now number 15. The main god of the Orion is Dash. And what is the name of the main god of the Orion? Yes, we all know that it is Dharms. D-H-A-R-M-E-S. Now number 16. The Tripura are the follower of Dash religion. And Tripura are the follower of what religion? Yes, we know the answer that Tripura are the follower of Hindu religion now number 17 
Garo society is traditionally dash and Garo society is traditionally ki patriarchal or matriarchal. We know that Garo society is traditionally matriarchal. That means mother is the head of the family. And be careful about the spelling of matriarchal. Most of you do a spelling mistake. Now number 18. The village head of the Oran is dash. And who is a, I mean what is called the village head? Yes, we all know that. Mahto is the village head of the Orion. And now number 13. Muro houses are called dash. And what is called the Muro houses? It's very easy. Kim. Now number 20. Muro language is marked as endangered language by dash. And who declared Muro language endangered? We all know that UNESCO declared it. And we will write here UNESCO. U N E S U N. Now look, all the letters will be capital. So remember it. Now number twenty one. The main food of the Orion is dash. And what is the main food of the Orion? It will be rice. Now number twenty two. The Kashi worship dash gods. So Kashi worship what gods? Yes, Kashi worship, uh, worship several gods. They have many gods and they worship them. Now number 23. The Tripura people have a lot, uh, have a total of dash Dafa. So how many Dafas are there? In Tripura ethnic group, there are total 36 Dafa. Now 24. The language of the Garo is dash. And we know that the language of the Garo is Achik. A C H I K. Now 25. The name of the languages of the Orion are Kuruk and what? Kuruk and Sadri. So they have two languages. So dear students, there are 25 fill in the blanks. And these are the answer. So let's read one more time. We will work on the pavement not in the middle of the road. Number two, to vote is a duty of a citizen. Number three, we should not open the door to strangers. Number four, we will keep first uh, first aid box at home. Number five, we should help anyone in need. Number six, to pay taxes regularly is a duty of a citizen. Number seven, use the bridge to cross the road. Number eight, at home we will take decision by listening to each other. Number nine, democracy means rule by the people. Number 10, we must be tolerant to other people's views. Number 11, we will practice democratic attitude everywhere. Number 12, taking decision based on the opinion of the majority is called democratic attitude. Number 13, we must defend democracy. Number 14, the Kashi consider battle leaves very sacred. Number 15, the main god of the Oran is Derms. Number 16, the Tripura are the follower of Hindu religion. Number 17, Garo society is traditionally matriarchal. Number 18, the village head of the Oran is Mato. Number 19, Muro houses are called Kim. Number 20, Muro language is marked as endangered language by UNESCO. Number 21, the main food of the Oran is rice. Number 22, the Kashi worship several gods. Number 23, the Tripura people have a total of 36 Dafa. Number 24, the language of the Garo is Ati. Number 25, the name of the languages of the Aurad are Kuruk and Sadri. So there are 25, fill in the blanks and you will practice it. And for filling the blanks, you must go through your text also. Now we will do matching. So now look, there are three matching and in column A, there are five options and in column B, there are seven options that means two are extra and we will match column a with column b so what is uh, what are in column a the mro celebrate then uh, b the social system of garo is number c the name of the language of the kashi is number d the main festival of the oran is number e the tripura worship and column b number one karam number two shiva and kali number three Torai, number four, births, weddings, and deaths. Number five, Monkane. Number six, matriarchal. Number seven, patriarchal. 
So what will be the answer of the matching? One. A match with what? The Mro celebrate what? The Mro celebrate the birth, weddings and death. So A match with number four. Then number B, the social system of Garo is what? Matriarchal or patriarchal? Yes, we know that it is a matriarchal society. That means B plus six. Now number C, the name of the language of the Kashi is what? Which one? Yes, number five. Mon came, we all know that. So C match with number five. And number D, the main festival of the Oran is what? And we all know that it is Karam. So D match with 1. D plus 1. And now the last one, E. The Tripura worship what? Thorai or Shiva and Kali? Yes, Shiva and Kali. So it will be E plus 2. So these are the correct answer and dear students how will you write the i mean how will you do the matching okay now look all of you will follow it at first you will write a plus four and then what is our correct answer the mro or oh, so it will be the mro Celebrate what? Now number four. Birth, weddings, and deaths. Now the next one. B match with six. So at first we'll write B plus 6 and then we will write the correct the full sentence the social system of Garu is and now this side matriarchal so we will write here matriarchal so dear students you will follow this way and you will do your matching. Okay, dear students, now we will go to the next matching. And in column A, now uh, the first option is use the foot over bridge to B to avoid accidents at home. Number C to help society run smoothly. Number D don't touch electric switch with. Number E we must take part in elections. And in column B, number one is we should obey our laws. Number two, dry hands or bare feet. Number three, from the age of 18. Number four, don't open the door to a stranger. Number five, from the age of 21. Number six, wet hands or bare feet. Number seven, cross the road. Now we will match A with what? Use the foot over bridge too. And why, uh, why, uh, why do you need to use the bridge? Number now look at the number 7 cross the road so a match with number 7 right my dear students so we will write here a plus 7 now number b to avoid accidents at home what will we do we will not open the door to strangers right so don't open the door to a stranger so it will be B plus 4. Okay. Now number C. To help society run smoothly. What will you do? Now look. The first number. I mean number 1. We should obey our laws. Right. If we don't obey the laws. The society will not run smoothly. So number C will match with number 1. Now number D. Don't touch electric switch with. Now look. Option 2. And an option Four, dry hands or bare feet. And now option uh, six, wet hands or bare feet. So we will not, and we all know that we will not touch electric switch with wet hands or bare feet. So 
ऑप्शन डी मैच विथ ऑप्शन सिक्स नाउ नंबर ए वी मस्ट टेक पार्ट इन इलेक्शन Now look at option three and option five. From the age of eighteen and from the age of twenty one. Which one is the correct? Yes, we all know that. From the age of eighteen. So option E match with number three. So these are our correct answer. A will match with number seven. B match with matches with number six. C matches with number one and D matches uh, number six. Six and E matches with number three. Now number three. In column A, uh, we will find that number A is the word democracy means. Number B at home. Number C in politics. Number D we must be tolerant of our of other people's views and take decisions based on. Number E if people are involved in a decision. Now column B. Number one is electing a government. Number two majority opinions. Number three rule by the people. Number four, what to manufacture. Number five, what to eat. Number six, minority opinions. Number seven, they are more likely to support the result. Now we will match column A with column B. The number A matches with what? The word democracy means, and we all know that ruled by the people. That means A match matches with number three. So A plus three. Now number B. At home, what will we decide? what to eat or what to manufacture yes what to eat so it will be b plus 5 now number c in politics what will it do now look in politics electing a government right so c matches with number 1 now number d we must be tolerant of other people's views and take decisions based on majority opinions or minority opinions yes we all know that majority opinions so d matches with number 2 and the last one number e if people are involved in a decision now look at the option 7 they are more likely to support the result so e matches with number 7 uh, so the so this is the correct answer and now look A matches with number three. B matches uh, matches uh, number five. C plus one and D matches with number two and E matches with number seven. And dear students, you will follow this structure. At first, you will match A with the uh, number A B C D with the numbers, and then we will write the full sentences. And dear students, there is a homework for you. This is homework number thirteen. Fill in the blanks one to ten. So you will do one to ten. Fill in the blanks as your homework. That means from today's class you will do one to ten. Fill in the blanks and you, and you will write full sentences. Okay, you 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 must write full sentences. You will not write the answer only. You must write full sentences. Remember it. So dear students, that's all for today. I hope you have understood about today's topic. Dear students, all of you will do your homework regularly and submit it on every Sunday within 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Study regularly and listen to your parents. See you again. Allah bless.